This is Simply Angeline, and we're going on an Easter egg hunt. It's true. We're going on an Easter egg hunt. Grab your baskets. Welcome back to Simply Angeline, the channel dedicated to the storytelling of diverse children's stories so kids can feel inspired and seen. And I said earlier, we're going on an Easter egg hunt. The Easter egg hunt in Georgia, that is. We're going to take a look and follow two bunnies while they go on an Easter egg hunt. Let's see if we can find any Easter eggs. Tell me and point them out to me as I read it, okay? And also, we're going to travel to different places. There's Valdosta, Marietta, Roswell. So let me know how many cities in Georgia you remember from the story. Let's watch the Easter egg hunt in Georgia. The Easter Egg Hunt in Georgia, written by Laura Baker, illustrated by Joe Perry. It's Easter time in Georgia. Bunny bounces out of bed, feeling grateful for this day and everything ahead. Mommy Bunny smiles and says, springtime's in the air. Time to search for eggs and love. We'll find them everywhere. Will you help them look too? Just outside Augusta, they search up, down, everywhere, hopping along paw in paw. Bunny says, how about over there? Playful lambs call over with a kind and happy bleat. Happy Easter, woolly friends. Look. Our first Easter treat. With one egg in the basket, the bunnies stop beside a brook. Tybee Island, Athens, or Brunswick. Oh, which way should they look? Ducklings splash, quack, and wave. Maybe try along the water. Bunny's thankful for the help. Now I'm a real egg spotter. Two eggs in the basket, the pace is picking up. And when the bunnies reach Roswell, they're greeted with the cluck. We can't stay long, little bunny says. Although visiting is so sweet, we have lots of eggs to find. Is that one underneath? On the path to Savannah, they stop to see the bees. Perhaps they'll find some more eggs hiding in the leaves. They stop and smell the flowers in the field around the hive. Counting one, two, three. There's four. Now on to find egg five. The bunnies pause in Atlanta as a rainbow fills the sky. Mommy watches fondly while Bunny looks nearby. They cuddle and give thanks for the blessings of the day. Then Clever Bunny spots it. <gasps> A pink one now. Hooray! Off to a market in Marietta. They meet lots of friendly faces. The bunnies search and peep for eggs through all their favorite places. A park in Valdosta has a spot to take a seat. Even egg-spurt treasure hunters must stop to rest their feet. Have you seen any eggs? Bunny asks a family. Why, yes! Smiles Raccoon. Look up in that tree! In Puddles by Columbus, Bunny splashes all around. Over here, calls Mommy. Another egg to be found. Let's search for more, cries Bunny. And then they dash away. To Macon, where more friends want to play. Bright-eyed pups play hide and seek in the farmer's field. What's that pup sniffing there? A new egg is revealed. The sun in St. Simons is setting for the day. And Little Bunny takes this chance to hop about and play 
with an Easter basket full and a joyful, grateful heart. Bunny's ready to be home. Right back to the start. Back through Macon, woof, woof, jump. Back through Columbus, oink, oink, grunt. Back past Valdosta, crunch, crunch, yum. Back past Marietta, the busy day is done. Back through Atlanta, nay, nay, wee. Back past Roswell, cheep, cheep, follow me. Back past the brook, quack, quack, come. Back to Augusta, bye, bye, run. Back home at Bunny Tree, they feast and count their haul. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did you find them all? Little Bunny says, while counting all our eggs, let's count our blessings too. Friends, family, fun, and an Easter spent with you. As the stars shine down on Georgia, Bunny snuggles into bed. Happy Easter, whispers Mommy. I love you, sleepyhead. Happy Easter, Georgia. The end. So, what did y'all think of the Easter egg hunt in Georgia? I thought it was really, really good as well. I really loved how the mommy bunny and the baby bunny traveled to different places in Georgia. And I love that we saw the different animals. And did you all see any Easter eggs? How many did you see? Oh, that's a lot. Uh, I picked this book out because I am from Georgia. Georgia is the place that raised me, molded me to be the person that I am today. And one of the main reasons why I do have Simply Angeline. And I love Georgia from the bottom of my heart. And I thought this was an amazing story. And I know you did too. So Simply Angeline, we'll see you next time. And have a great week, weekend, month, day. See you next time. Bye, everybody.